Once upon a time, in a small city, there lives a beautiful family of bakers. They are the Okoyes. The Okoyes own a confectionery in town known as Tiny Little Cakes. They bake cakes, make pastries, and other chocolates. Elliot Okoye, who started the confectionery, was a man passionate about cakes. He was known for making the best cake decorations, and the cake tasted as sweet as they looked. Unfortunately, Elliot kicked the bucket a year ago after a ghastly accident, leaving his lovely wife, Patricia, and his three beautiful daughters, Adassa, Zena, and Kathy, to run the confectionery. Although, the confectionery hasn't been booming since Elliot's passing. Patricia and the Okoye daughters are bakers, except for one. Who is there? Who is that? How are you? I'm fine. Where is the person in charge here? I want a cake for anniversary. Wait. Mom! Uh, mom, uh, mom! 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 Yes, baby, I'm coming! Wait, somebody who loves me. The great singer of Tiny Little Cakes. Yeah. That's me. You know the vibes, that's how it works. Uh, please finish playing that so we can start with the cupcakes. I thought you're the somebody that loves me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not doing anything. Good afternoon, sir. Hi, uh, good afternoon. You want something? Yes, I want a cake for anniversary. Oh, do you have any particular design in mind? Yes, I have. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, this is really nice. Yes, we can do this for you. We make really nice cakes. This is 40,000. 40,000? Yes. No problem. Okay, you'll pick up tomorrow evening by 6 p.m. Okay. Okay, that works. All right, you make an upfront. Okay. Thank you. Um, savings or current? Savings. Okay. <sighs> um, help your sister to carry her bag, okay? Mom, don't worry. That's why I have a box. Don't worry, let her help you now. When you get inside, you can take care of yourself. Baby, once we get inside, drop your bag. Hmm? All of you should change your clothes, then you guys should join me in the kitchen to cook, all right? Well, Mom, we just go back. We need to rest. Don't be lazy. You want us to go to bed without food? You guys should join me in the kitchen. I can feel the fresh breeze. Come. Adassa. <laughs> straight, straight. Hadiza? Yes, Mom. Let this simmer for two minutes. Hmm? Then you put it down. It must not get burnt. Good. I need to use the convenience. Oh, yeah. Come on, take. Okay. So you guys should carry on. I'll be back. Adiza, do this. Kathy, do that. We've turned into servants while the queen sits on her throne, like the queen of Kikuyu Kingdom. 
You, you mean Zina? Who else? All she does is eat, sleep and sit down. While we do everything, all the work, all the errands. And mom gives her the queen treatment. Always. But that's how she has always been. Because she's challenged. God! Mare looking at you? Someone would actually think that you are older than me. But apply little wisdom to this big frame of yours. It will take you far. I am very tired of serving someone that I am older than. And I am not getting used to it. Actually, I think she's doing all this on purpose. Because she's, she could have helped us, you know, in any possible little way she, she could. But no, she's enjoying the queen treatment she's getting from mom. Would you rather switch places with her? God forbid. I'm just saying that I am tired of this preferential treatment. Are you not tired of it too? I am. The food! Alisa! Kathy! I hope that's not that food burning! Uh, no! Hello, ladies. Hey. Where is your sister? She's coming. Maybe you should have aided her so she'll be faster. But she knows her way around the house. How does that? Oh, my baby, come, come this way. You, move there, carry your food. Come, darling. Okay. Good. That's my girl. Are you okay? This beautiful rice and fish sauce for you. Oh Lord, bless Zina's food in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Maybe eat. Good. I have this big piece of fish here for you. And I'm bringing it right to your mouth. Are you done with that one? Or oh, you're almost done? Here we go. Good. You're smiling. You didn't say, Mommy, the food is sweet. Mommy, it's sweet. gone to bed? Um, Mom, there's something I want to ask you. Okay. I'm listening. Go ahead. Um, Mom, please. I really need a guitar. Can you buy me one, please? Hadassah. A guitar? Seriously? Yes, Mom. You know I really like singing, but I don't own any musical instrument. I will need it at the school's event next week, Friday. Everyone at the music club has a guitar but me. Adasa, you know the situation on ground now. We're trying so hard to save up for your sister's surgery. It's not possible for me to buy you a guitar now. We can't use that money to buy a toy. It's not possible. But mom, a guitar is not a toy. Hadaza, I am sorry. That guitar is not priority. And we can't get it now. We have our rent to pay, your school fees. There are so many things lined up to be taken care of. I cannot get a guitar now for you. But mom... Hadaza, please do not push it. Please, maybe after your sister's surgery, we could afford it. But for now, it's not possible. Okay? It's fine. Good night. Um, we were asked to invite our parents to the 
events next week Friday. I'll be singing. Oh, my dear. Don't worry. Mommy will come. Okay? Mommy will definitely be there to cheer you up. Okay, Mom. All right, darling. Good night. Have a good night's rest, okay? My dear. Fine, just woke up hungry. Oh, baby, where's the food from yesterday? Oh, I'm microwaving it. Oh, beautiful, that's my girl. Oh, wow, it's hot and ready. I'm going to serve it to your sister. She's very hungry. You know, she didn't have so much to eat before we went to bed last night. Well, I'm hungry too, Mom. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to make breakfast in a few minutes and you will have. To eat. Okay? Just learn to share. Okay? Let me give this to your sister. Alright? And I'll make something for you to eat. Okay? Alright then. We'll both share this food. Adessa, what is wrong with you? Your sister is hungry. I'm going to make breakfast just in a few minutes. At least just manage and be patient. It won't kill you, okay? Learn to make some sacrifice sometimes. Abba! They're literally like their mother. I don't understand you sometimes. Sleep. Oh, somebody pushed me. No, nobody pushed you. I know what I'm saying. Somebody pushed me. It's fine. Somebody pushed somebody me. Somebody pushed you, Zina. Somebody it's pushed it's me. It's okay. Nobody pushed you. You must have felt. Sod. Eh? Sorry, I didn't even know. Sorry, I didn't. How would you see it? Eh? How would you see it? Oh yeah? Uh, leave her. 
You should have helped her instead. Was I talking to you? Huh? She messed it up, so she has to go and clean it. Do not worry, I will do it. Uh, Gina, no, don't, don't worry. Animal noises. Baby, what are you doing? Good morning, Mom. Good morning, my darling. What are you doing? Who gave you this? I want to sweep. No, 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 no. Don't do that, my dear. Do you want to fall or stumble? I'll be used to it. No. You don't let me do anything. My dear, you have me and your sisters. You don't need to do anything. We're here to help you. Don't sweep this again, okay? All right? Take, hold this. I feel like a decoration. No, my darling, don't say that. You have us here to help you. And don't worry, very soon we'll save up the money for your surgery. And then you'll be okay after all. Then you can do all the work you want to do. And everything will be fine, okay? Baby, come this way. You can go to mommy's room. Find your way. Just go and sit on the bed. Where are your sisters? Why are they still sleeping? Go inside, go inside, my dear. Just go gently into mommy's room and sit down. Where are they? Hadaza! Good morning, mom. Really? You guys should have been getting ready to go to school and you're still here sleeping. Hadaza. You, the eldest, you're not even behaving like your age. Your younger sister is there making herself useful. And both of you are here sleeping like locked of wood. Is she ever useful? What? What did you just say? Zina, she's just doing eye service. She's not useful. And she's not different than a blind bat. Are you mad? Uh, are you mad? Are you mad? What is wrong with you? Why are you making things difficult for your sister? Why are you comparing her to a blind bat? Are you mad? Instead of two of you to help her like her sisters that you are, you're making life more difficult for her. You better get up and go and get your chores now right now. Start doing them while I fix breakfast for you. And who betide you if she heard you? It's not like that. <laughs> oh, mom, remember to come for our school event by 12 today. Oh, sure, I remember, darling. I'll be there by 12 to cheer you up, okay? okay and mom. also don't forget to bring cupcakes because our classmates really like them, so we can share it with them. Yes, okay. they know you for that, mom. They, they call, call you sugar, sugar mommy. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, of course, no problem. I'll be there by 12 to cheer you on, darling. Okay, Zina, mom. dear, how are you? I'm fine, mom. Okay, you girls be good, okay? okay wait, um, wait, wait, let's turn into your gate and then drop you off. Be good, see you guys at 12. See you, Mom. Remember, Mom, 12. 12, no, I'm not forgetting. Okay, Mom. 12. Mom, the door is... Oh, okay, fine. Is it open? Let's I think try it's open. Oh, try your door. Okay, let's just okay. try. Is that one working? Okay, yes. good, great. So see you ladies at 12. See you, mom. All right. Bye, Zina. Bye, dear. Bye, Katy. Bye-bye. Shut the door. Bye. Bye. Of 
of that. Why are you being friendly with her? Because she's our sister. Oh, our sister. The one that doesn't care about anybody but herself. Can't you see that Zina wants only mom's love and attention all to herself? Have you not noticed that she gets moody when mom gives us love and attention? You've not been observant enough. I would have called you big for nothing, but let me not insult you. Don't you know why she woke up early this morning? So that she can portray us as the lazy ones in front of mom. But, but we are not lazy. I know! But that is the narrative she's sending to mom. Is that what you are mean to her? Yes. She makes us feel like second citizens in our own house. Mm -hmm. I think you are wrong. Mom is just taking care of Zina because she's physically challenged. That's why she showers her with more love and care. You still don't see it. Mom loves Zina more than us. No, Mom loves us equally. That is exactly what I thought. But wait till you and Zina want the same thing. Let's see who Mom gives it to. Zina, you've not been concentrating. What's wrong with you? Nothing more. Ah. Oh, okay. You're feeling bad because you're in a different school from your sisters? Oh, I get it. You're beginning to feel down again because of your sides. Listen, baby, I have told you. I have told you. It's just because the business has not been booming the way it was when daddy was alive. So we do not have so much funds available. Okay? Mm, that's not the problem. That's not what is bothering me. Oh. So you agree that there is something bothering you? All right. So tell mommy about it. What exactly is the problem? Mom, let's take it easy on my sisters. Where is that coming from? You're too hard on them. I don't just wake up in the morning and start shouting at them. That only happens when they have done something wrong. Ah. Mom, you always make them do everything and you don't let me do anything. At least, please let me bake. Listen, I know you used to bake when your dad was alive. Well, he used to allow you bake because he just wanted you to be happy. Baby, now we can't afford all that because we'll be wasting a lot of ingredients. Don't worry. Very soon you'll get your side back, okay? And you'll be able to bake as much as you want to. Is that okay? Okay, mom. All right, darling. So just relax, okay? We're almost at your school now. Johnson. Good afternoon, Mr. Okoye. Okay. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, Zina? Good morning, Mr. Okoye. Good morning. Zina, let me help you from here. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Johnson. I'll pick her up later today. Are you not joining for the meeting today? The school what? sent a text message last week. Concerning meeting today by 12.30 p.m. Wow, I didn't know about that. I'm sure you must have escaped me because I was a bit busy with work. I'll try my best to come. Please try to join the meeting for the benefit of all of us. I'll do but my mom, best. Mom, you promised Hadas and Kati you'll be there for the event today. Yes, dear, but this is also very important. I'll find a way to meet up with them. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Johnson. I have to go now. Thank You're welcome. All right, baby, bye. 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 Hadassah, don't be angry. 
I'm sure mom had her reasons. Well, why didn't she come? She said that she would come in the morning. She promised. Uh, maybe she's at the shop. You know we have to make more money. Oh, my children. Hi. I'm so sorry. Where is everybody? Has it not started? They are finished. What happened? Now? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to go to Zina's school. They had an impromptu meeting. I didn't know the meeting would take forever. What are you doing, Azim? She's still very angry. Let's go. She'll be fine. You guys have not had anything, Abby. I have cakes. Hadassah, what happened? Shut up and don't talk to me. That's all, my dear. I'm so, so sorry, okay? Please, forgive mommy. I really didn't know that the meeting was going to take that long. Forgive mommy, okay? I didn't know the meeting was going to take that long. All right? You're not saying anything. But don't worry, mommy is going to make it up to you. That's a promise. Mommy is making it up to you. Right? Yes, the one you ordered yesterday evening. It's ready. The dispatch will bring it in right now. Um, you guys should pull off your clothes, remove your clothes, and then come join me in the kitchen. Fast, fast, fast. Kathy! Kathy! Help me package that cake immediately, the one that we're giving to the dispatch rider. Um, Hadassah, people should hurry up. Join me in the kitchen. I wish you were still here with us. The business is not the same without you. I try, but I can't bake like you no matter how I try. It's not been easy for me and the girls. <sighs> I believe you're in a better place.
I think there's something in the flower. No, 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 <sighs> hmm. Where we have money, I'll put cameras everywhere. Yeah, then I'll show her the proof. Apple laser. Oh. <laughs> funny, funny. Don't <laughs> put your face. Stop <laughs> now. <laughs> Cake are you girls baking? Why are you here? And mom was down there, so I just came to assist. Came to do what? Watch us bake? How do you intend on doing that with no eyes? I just came to assist you. Please, there's nothing you can do, so just leave. Okay, fine. I'll leave. Better. Go and enjoy your queen treatment while we do all the work. At least we can see all the beautiful things. Unlike you, all you see is darkness. Adasa, why do you like to say mean things to me? I am still your sister. I wish you were not. I clean that thing. Again. This way, this way. What happened? Nothing, Mom. No, your face is saying something different. What happened? Nothing, Mom. What did they do to you? They did not do anything. Why are you crying then? I'm not crying. Hadaza! Kathy! Mom, they will be very busy. What happened in there? <laughs> it's... it's nothing. I'm not smiling. What did you do to her? Okay, let me ask Kathy. I believe that you will tell me the truth. Kathy, what happened to your sister? Nothing. Kathy! Nothing happened to your sister. Baby, are you sure you are okay? Yes, ma'am. Hadas, no. Kathy, come and sit down here and take care of your sister. While I go in there and see how far you've gone. Let's go. Thank you for not telling mom the truth. She would have shouted at Adasa. I didn't do it for you. I did it so that Hadassah wouldn't get punished. Why are you looking at me? Oh, I forgot you can't see. Oh, 
Buffy. Go and help your sister. Okay? Mommy's baby. Are you fine? Mommy wants to go to the bank and she'll be back in a bit, okay? Do you want anything? Um, Mom. Yes, a sir. friend of mine wants to visit, can't she? Yes, but I don't know any of your friends that live close by. Oh, Evelyn recently moved with her parents. She lives like three streets away from here. Okay, she can. But, you know I'm leaving this shop and your siblings in your care. You must not get carried away. Sure, Mom. All right, later. Okay, Mom. Hadassah. 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 Ah! Deaf. Sorry. Please. I want to beg. Can you help me arrange the things? I know you don't have eyes. But I didn't know that you don't have a hat as well. So you want to chase away our customers? No, it's not like that. It's that I remember some things that do touch. So I just need your help to arrange the things. See this small girl? You might be taller than me and bigger than me. But I'm not your maid, Zina. Sister, so ordering me around. I'm sorry, that is not what I meant. It's not your fault. You will not bake. Have you even baked before? Please, you know how you love to sing. Imagine being deprived from that. Please, I just want to bake. I will not be deprived of singing because it is my talent. As for you, you have no sight. Simply put, no vision. I want to be. I want to be. Mom is not around. Send the fade away to take heart, sing in the new tomorrow. Live in one love between, gonna take a bright day too. <laughs> Never be worried, let one love set you free. One love, keep us together. <laughs> Living in the world, the struggle to stay alive. One love. Keep us together. Keep us together. Living well, it's a struggle to stay alive. One love, one love. Keep us together. Keep us together. Woo! It's a struggle to stay alive. One love. Keep us together. Living in the world. It's a struggle to stay alive. Woo! Yeah, I'm back to the world. Hello. Please, I'm here to meet my friend, Hadaza. This is Tiny Little Cakes, right? Yes. Just wait. Hadaza! Evelyn! I've been waiting for you. I've been trying to find my way. You know, we are still very new to this area. So, I'm not even going to go. Evelyn! Hey, Katty. Welcome to our show. Thank you so much. Is she actually kind? And who is she? Oh, her? Yeah. She's just one of my mom's charity cases. She's from the village. Oh, what happened to her eyes? Um, 
She was born that way. So my mom just helped her and brought her here to live with us. Oh, that's so kind of your mother. This shop is so beautiful. I know, right? Um, yeah. Come, let me show you where we make all our delicious cakes. Sure. Will you also deny me? I mean, you can't really blame her, okay? We don't want our classmates finding out we have a blind sister who we'll become the laughing stock in our school. Plus, uh, I don't want to be mocked by my classmates. I know what they're thinking now. I can read the mind. I perceive the hate. I know they don't like me now. Think it's all my fault. Cause I'm always to blame. So Kathy bakes too. Yes, but well, you know she's mostly good with cupcakes. I know, yeah. The baking skill runs your family indeed. And yes. First. Yes, yes, yes. As for me, I baked my first cake when I was eight. Yes, it was my neighbor's son's birthday. So my dad gave me the chance to, you know, prove myself. But you know, the cake would not be as sweet as his own. <laughs> True. <laughs> I really miss my dad. I remember when he used to make my sisters and I stand beside him and do the same things he was doing. That's actually how I learned how to bake my first cake. Sisters? I thought Katie was only your sister. Uh, oh, it was a slip of tongue. I meant sister. You know, Kathy is my only sister. Yeah, I wish I knew how to bake too. You know, you guys are very lucky. Hmm. Be careful what you wish for. I don't like baking as much as my dad. I just beg to assist my mom, you know. Left to me. I just want to sing. Oh, that reminds me. You know that singing contest Philip was talking about the other day in the music club? Mm. The form is out online. Uh-uh. You are fast. Sadly, I won't be participating because the form is very, very expensive. And I know my dad won't get it for me. He doesn't even want me to be a musician. Yeah, that's very sad. So you just give up on your dream like that. Left to me. Madam, I'm going to be a musician. I can do anything to chase my dreams. You're so lucky. <laughs> um, are you not going to buy bread? You visited our confectionery. Oh, you don't want to buy anything. I would, I would, but you know, I am supposed to have this friendship discount. Mm, friendship discount. There's no friendship in business, so Please. I'm selling my markets. <laughs> Phone, please. For what exactly? So that you'll start playing games, Abby? I don't have battery for that. No, Mom. I want to use it so I can browse something. It's an assignment for school. I don't want to come to your room to get my phone. Bring it back once you're done. Okay, Mom. You can have it. Thank you. I hope it's your assignment you are doing. This one, you're smiling like this. from ages 15 to 17. But 
It also says you need to know how to play at least one instrument. I can play the guitar. I've been practicing at the music club with Philip's guitar. But how will you be able to buy the phone? You know what mom's answer would be? She would say we're saving up money for Zina's surgery. I know. And I don't care anymore. I am tired of Zina and her eye defects. You know, this her defect has been taken away a lot from us. For instance, like with dad. I mean, when he finally got all the money for her surgery, he got into a car accident. Maybe God has his reasons for making her blind. As for me, this is an opportunity I can't let go of because of her. Hell no, this is my dream. So, what will you do? How is my hair? You have very lovely hair, my dear. Beautiful texture. Thank you, Mom. I wish I can see it. I know how difficult it is not being able to see anything. But don't worry, my dear. Very soon, your surgery will be done and you'll be able to see again, okay? But it's not even guaranteed. The doctor said it was 50-50. <sighs> I can't believe you're being negative now. But how long till the money will be complete? Let's just ask someone for help. From who? Do, do you want to be posted online like a charity case, begging people for money? I will never let that happen. It, it's just so sad that business has not been booming as usual the way it was when your dad was alive. Our situation is not that bad. If not, by now the surgery would have been done. No one makes cakes like that. He's very special. I know. Your dad was just gifted. I just can't wait to get my eyesight. And I'll make cakes like that. I've always wanted to make cakes like him. Obviously, you're the only one that is as passionate about cakes as your father. It's just so unfortunate that you cannot see. The, the kind of collateral these people are asking for. Will I used to get this loan? Let me try this one, that's... Hello? Okay, okay. I'll call back in five minutes. Daza, please, do not even start. Are you serious? I should use your sister's surgery money and pay for a music concert from for you? How selfish can you be? I knew it. I knew you were going to say no. 
You never grant me anything I wish. All you care about is Zina. It's always Zina. Zina. Are Zina. you raising your voice at me? Really? I asked you for a guitar, Mom. You refuse to get it because your priority is Zina surgery. Now I'm asking you, I'm even pleading for this. And you still don't think it's important because of Zina. Hadaza, your sister's surgery is my priority. You can see what she cannot. Do you have an idea how terrible I feel every day I see her group in darkness? Do you? What about me? Kathy? We also have needs and wants, Mom. But all you think and care about is Zina. Any mother in my shoes will do the same. You're supposed to understand, Hadaza. Mom, please. This is my dream. Please, Mom, please. Hadaza, I'm sorry that dream will have to hold on. I paid for you to join the music club. That should be okay for now. There's no way I'm going to buy that phone. I'm sorry. It will not happen. She said no. Mom refused to get the phone for me. As expected. But, but, but it's okay. Stop crying. This is because of you. Hadassah, what happened? Why are you crying? You once asked me how it would feel if I didn't achieve my dream right. Well, I can't! And it feels so terrible! What happened? You know mom can never stop you from singing. Oh, she just did. And it's because of you! I hate you so much! Because of me? Yes! You are blind! So what? I am the only blind person alive. Why does everything have to revolve around you? I just wish mom can forget about this stupid surgery and allow us all to live in peace. Your birth has brought so much pain to this family. Hadassah. Uh, Hadassah. Kati. Mom has been so unfair to Hadassah because of you, Zina. She wanted to participate in that contest, but Mom wouldn't buy her a phone. All because of your eye surgery. 
Katia, I don't want the eye surgery again. Katia, I'm sorry. Katia, please. Katia, please, I don't want it anymore. Katia, please. Hadassah, I'm sorry. Hadassah, please, I'm sorry. Katia, please. Please. Katie, please. Adasa, I beg you, please. I'm sorry, I don't want the eye surgery again. that how does a blind person watch TV I know you are angry that mom did not pay for your phone I feel very bad about it too but please don't treat me like this stop acting innocent when everything is your fault What's going on here? Uh, nothing, Mom. Are you sure? Yes. Hadaza, um, take care of your siblings. Let me quickly pick something. <laughs> okay, Mom. Baby, are you okay? Yes, Mom, I'm fine. All right. Bye, Mom. Bye. Yes. Hadaza, I'm sorry. Hmm. If sorry could solve the problem, why do we have prisons and the police? Hadassa. 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 Hadassa, please. Hadassa. Hadassah! Hadassah!
Sorry, Mom. Mom, what's happening? Hadassah, you used my debit card to pay for that form. How could you? M Mom, the sales of the form are going to expire tomorrow, so... <laughs> so you used the money saved up for your sister's surgery to pay for a form? 1.2 million Naira, Hadassah! How could you? I'm sorry, Mom, but I couldn't miss the contract. Shut up! Mom! I had to check my dreams! What stupid dream? At the expense of your sister's sight? But, Mom, she ruined her lives the moment she was born blind! How dare you! Mom! Are you really my child? Did I give birth to you? Is she my daughter? I wanted to have my eyesight. And you did this to me. Not everything is about you. You hate me this much. I hate you more than you could even imagine. It's all my fault Cause I'm always to blame
Mom. Mom. Mom, please. I am sorry. Tell that to your sister. decided to sell the confectionery. What? what? But mom, why? That's the only memory we have left of dad. And it is our only source of income. Please don't sell it, mom. You should have thought of that before you did what you did. Gathering the funds for Zina's surgery is taking so long and I do not know what to do anymore. So I have decided to sell the confectionery and all the electronics in the house so that we can have that surgery done once and for all. But mom, hold on. I'll use the funds left to start up a small business and then try to get a better job. Mom, no need to sell the confessionary. We can gather up the money again. I'm sure if dad was to be alive, he will not be happy. Do you know how terrible I feel looking at you every day? You're not like other children. You can't relate, you can't fit in freely. I'm sure it's also getting to you, but you're just not showing it. Or don't you want to get your sight back? <sighs> this topic is not for debate. I just decided to tell you guys before going ahead to get an agent and put up the property for sale. No, you should really think about this. <sighs> There's nothing to think about. My mind is made up. Mrs. Patricia Okoye. Yes, I got your number from Mrs. Victoria. Please, I have a property for sale. Um, it's a confectionery, a, a cake, please. Yes. Okay. Oh, of course, you're free to come and take a look. 
Oh, that will be nice. Thank you very much. Okay, bye. Hello, Mrs. Victoria. Uh, yes, of course I'm still interested, but I'm a bit busy today. Can you wait till tomorrow? Oh, no, 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 no. I am very interested. J just let him know that I'll be on my way. Yes, I'm coming. I'm very interested. Or okay, all right. Thank you very much. going to nowhere okay I'm about to go and um you know the job I told you I'm applying for that I will be doing pending when we sell this place so I want to go to that place I need you to bake a cake somebody give me my give me darling somebody ordered a cake all right for her seven year old son for the birthday so you will bake that cake so that we can deliver it later today Do you now understand? yes you have to start now that cake will be delivered this evening, okay? I have already arranged everything, so go and start baking right now. Everybody, see you later, baby. Bye, darling. Bye, mom. Yeah. Hadassa, why didn't you tell mom we were going to Evelyn's place? Don't you need me to record the video for the music contest? You know she won't understand. She's already upset I bought the form. I can't tell her. But didn't you say the deadline was today? What are you going to do? I don't even know. You know you would have helped me bake, but you only know how to do cupcakes. What do I do? You can still go to Evelyn's place, but you have to make sure you record the video quickly so you can return and bake the cake. That's a good idea. I think I'll go now. But be quick before mom returns. Okay. Banana. No. Come on, smell it again. Hmm? Condensed milk. Correct. <laughs> okay, let's see this one. Straight. 
strawberry. <laughs> nice. Okay, okay, you just this. Banana. <laughs> You're right. I don't need them. <laughs> okay, got this. Lemon. No, take it again. Valina. <laughs> it's vanilla, lovely, correct. And uh, okay, 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 this one, this one, this one. Cocoa powder. Correct. <laughs> okay, and this one. Achoo! <laughs> Baking powder. <laughs> You're correct. Now you have a fantastic sense of smell, my dear. <laughs> so, Dad, is this your special recipe? Let me think all the flavors you perceived here makes my special recipe. But my special recipe is in my mind. And it's mine alone. Okay? I follow the directions of my mind. All my products taste differently, but they are top notch. <laughs> I want to be like you, Dad. No, 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 no. Don't be like me. Create your own path. Let your spirit lead you. Hmm? But how can I do that when I'm blind? <sighs> My dear child, the most beautiful things in this life are felt and not seen. You can do anything you want to do if you put your mind to it. Tina, don't let this be a limitation. Okay? Huggy, huggy, daddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's my girl. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, huh? Yes, I'm not doing sure. What they're thinking now? I can read the mind. I perceive the hate. I know they don't like me now. Think it's all my fault. Cause I'm always to blame Wish I could live
Gina! Oh. What did you do? Did you make the cake? Yes, I did. But... How? You don't know how to bake. But I did it. Oh my god. I have a serious feeling you're going to get in trouble. And, and the cake is probably terrible. Maybe. <sighs> Us. Mom, you're back so soon. So soon? It's been three hours since I went out. And besides, the lady is coming to pick up her cake. She called me on the phone. Right now? What? I thought you said in the evening. <sighs> what do you mean right now? It's past 5 p.m. Is that not evening? Wait. Hadaza, you didn't bake the cake. Uh, eh? I... Hadaza, you haven't baked the cake! Are you serious? Oh my god! Do you know the time? To kill you will not kill me! Because I didn't kill my mother! You won't kill me! Oh my god! It will be ready by 120. 89, 90, 91, 92, 9. Oh my god! So Hadassah, this was a prank. Um, no, Mom. I was just scared because I hadn't prepared the icing yet. The most important thing is that we have the we have baked cakes. Come, there's still another one in the oven, right? All we need to do is just allow the cake to cool down, then I will ice. Oh. Hmm. Hello, dear. Please take your sister downstairs. Oh, people should stay in the shop so that nobody will take our stuff. Mama, are you okay? Okay, Mom. All right, darling. Ah! You wanted to give me a heart attack. Sorry, Mom. Sorry. I'm sure the other ones will soon be ready, right? Okay. Oh, ah! Dear. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Oh, it's almost cool. In a few minutes, we'll be ready to ice. All right. Let me see. Okay. He's doing well from here. So why did you play that kind of prank on mommy? It's something I just... Mom. Yes? I think this is the customer calling. Oh, really? Hello? Hello, ma'am? Oh, yes. Oh, oh please, Um, would you come at 6.30 p.m.? We are almost done. Oh, you'll send your husband. Fantastic. That works. Of course I remember the exact design that you saw. Yes, on the shelf, I remember, I remember. Blue and cream, I remember. All right, thank you so much, ma'am. See your husband later. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, yeah, 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 take this. Hmm? Go downstairs. Get everything ready, let's start. Where are those things for decoration? <sighs> all right, you know what? Everybody's gone all hands on deck so that we'll get this ready for this woman before she gets here, before her husband gets here for 6.30 p.m. So let's gather all the stuff that we need. And then, where is the icing sugar? Where did you guys get Mom, see this man. Oh, really? Okay, everything is fine. Beautiful. So let's get everything. Sir, please come and sit down. I'm so sorry about the delay, sir. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, so here is it. Yeah, let me have it. Ah, oh, don't worry, let me take it to the car for you, sir. Yeah, that's kind of you. Okay, sir.
<sighs> Thank you so much, Kathy. You saved me back there. So you now know how to bake a cake. It wasn't me. Oh, oh my. Girls, thank you for saving mommy. Love you all. See you later. What do you mean? I didn't bake the cake. Eh? You didn't bake the cake. Then who did? It was Zina. Hey. <laughs> I didn't hear you, Kali. What did you say? It was Zina. Zina! And you allowed her to! I, I didn't know. I was drawing. God. She baked the cake. We are about to lose a customer because of the rubbish this one has done. I just wanted to help. You wanted to help? But because of that, your help, that customer is going to come up and complain about how horrible that cake was. And then she's going to be extra mad at me, extra angry with me, and she's going to descend on me. If possible, she will kill me. Because of help. But a terribly big cake is better than no cake at all. I beg, I beg, don't add your mouth. Listen and listen carefully. I know you don't have eyes, but use the ears that you have. In this life, in this life, Zina, don't help me in God's name. Please, please. It's no better I didn't bake the cake. At least I would have collected small bits in. Hmm? After all, all time I died. This girl, now, those people eat poison. You! You were busy drawing. The drawing is not fine. I bet that's what you want to hear. Whoa. Inside. Oh, sure. Okay. Let's go. Yes, it is. And in a very good location. Sure. Once I put it out, I'm sure we'll get buyers as soon as I put it out for sale. Hopefully. Okay. By the way, why do you want to sell? Oh, um, for personal reasons. Oh, that's fine. Do you have any paper? Oh, sure. One minute. Okay. This is it. Okay. Okay, let's hope we'll hear from someone very soon. Yeah, yeah. I will let you know if there's any development. Oh, sure. Just, Thank just you put so your much. Mind out rest, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. So hoping to hear from you soon. Definitely, definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. You're yeah. welcome. Right. Mm -hmm. Take care.
下。Your mom asked you to call me? No. I came to plead with you. Plead with me? But I said hi, you snubbed me. <laughs> eh? I was just sad. Sad? That's why I came to plead with you. Plead with me? Why? Sir, please don't sell the property. It's the only thing my dad left behind. And it's a legacy. No, 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 no. See, see. You're just a child. Your mom knows what best why she wants this property sold. Okay? Please, sir. It's all my fault. My mom don't have money for my eye surgery. That's why she wants to sell the confessionary. And this is the only thing my dad left behind. This is so sad and I'm sorry about this. Your mom contacted me because I'm best at selling properties. <laughs> Even if I decline this, there are other agents you can call. And will you go pleading with other agents? Hmm? Okay, sir. Thank you. What if I wait a bit for a miracle to happen? Probably you might get the money for your surgery. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Hey, man. And what's your name? Zina. Zina. Let me tell you something. You're a very special child, and I know you'll get your sight. Okay? Okay? So you can just you can just go back inside, okay? Take care. Sir, I know I cannot see your face, but I know you have a very good heart. Thank you. Can I get the hug, please? Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. You can go back inside. Easy, just take it easy. I'm very happy, ma'am. No, I'll let you know once I receive the alert. Thank you so much for the patronage again. Thank you, ma'am. Wow, it was the lady that came to the shop day before yesterday. You remember? She said the cake was so nice. It wasn't even enough for the function. Wow. Hadaza, what did you put in that cake? Nobody has ever praised your cake like this. What did you put in it? Guess what? Hmm. She's ordering two more cakes for Father's Day. One for her husband and for her dad. Wow. Two cakes? Yes. What did you put in the cake? <laughs> I, um... It's nothing, Mom. It's just the usual way I bake. Never. There must have been something that you added to it. She said it was very tasty. This is the way it's supposed to be. You know what? I'm going to bake those two cakes and then I'll handle the icing. Okay, mom. <laughs> she just sent the money for the two cakes. Ah! See you guys later. Zina, um, what did you add to the cake you baked the other day? Nothing. Did anything happen? Actually, no. The customer really liked it, and she ordered two more cakes. Now mom wants Hadassa to bake it. How did you do it? Nothing. I just followed that recipe. But we've tried it before, and it turned out normal. Even mom didn't get it right. 
Maybe we didn't do it correctly. Zina, can you teach us? No way. She has to do it herself. The customer said she wants it exactly like the last one. And the last time I didn't ask for her help, so she's going to have to do it on her own. It's okay. I like to bake. But how are we going to do this without mom finding out? Another angle. It's been weeks now and yet no buyer. I I put it at a fair price. It would not be nice to sell it for anything lesser. I understand that it takes time, but I was hoping the money could come in immediately because I actually needed it. Okay. I guess I just have to be patient and and be more optimistic and hope that the property will be sold soon. All right, thank you very much. Okay, bye. Mom, are you still going to sell the confectionery? Of course. How else do we get money for your sister's surgery? Mm, but maybe there could be another way to get the money. Have you ever thought that Zina could be gifted even if she's visually impaired? <laughs> gifted? When she cannot even see? Yes, Mom. What if she could bake even without her sight? Would you give it a try then? Hadaza, if this is your way of trying to stop me from selling the confectionery, it's not working. Why are you here? Please, can I check something on your phone? No. And you know why.
Good afternoon, sir. I was referred by one of your customers. You baked the cake for her husband on Father's Day. Okay. I'm the proprietor of Divine Schools. I've been eating 13 cakes for each class for our school's end of the year party on the 25th. Wow. I'll prefer different colors and design per class. Uh, also... Oh, all right. You'll get everything done, sir. We'll get it done for you. Thank you so much. All right, okay, bye. Wow, we're doing it. We're beginning to get orders like when your dad was still alive. I know he'll be so proud of you wherever he is right now. You're not smiling. Um, 13, 13 orders. Mom, there's something I have to tell you. What is it? Baking isn't really my thing. I know, you love singing, but listen. You're making so much money. We're going to make so much money from this right now. You're baking like your dad and we're having so many orders. I know, Mom, but that's not what I meant. I've been meaning to tell you that I'm not the one that baked those cakes. It was Zina. And how? I am sure she's the one that took after dad's skill, not me. Oh my God, how? Mom, you never believed in my ability. You never gave me a chance. You always made me feel worthless. The time dad was alive, he made me feel normal. He told me anything I want, I can do it. So I did it. I'm so sorry, darling. I'm very, very sorry. I never wanted you to feel inferior. I, I was concerned about your challenge and I didn't want you to stress yourself. I know you love me so much, Mom. But just give me a chance. When, when Dad was still alive, he taught me that even though I'm blind physically, I, I can still see in my mind. Baby, please, I'm very, very sorry. You know what? From now on, you will bake as much as you want to bake and for as long as you want to bake. And if there is anything that you want to do, Mommy will stand behind you all the way. All right? So, we have 13 cakes to bake. Let's get to work. <laughs> okay, Mom, let's finish. Are you okay, baby? All right. Woo! Yes. Thank you. You don't need to thank me. I had to tell mom the truth. I couldn't continue to take the glory while you did the work. Thank you so much. I've always wanted to bake. And you made that possible. Zena, I am also sorry. I know I have been mean to you lately, but it was because mom was giving you more love and attention. 
And I thought it was because you were using your blindness as an advantage. I also thought you didn't want to do anything. It's okay. I've always felt bad because I've not been doing any work and I've always tried my best to help you. Um, I'm sorry to Zina. Oh, you're choking us. <laughs> my sisters. But it's a pity that mom wants to sell the confectionery. But we can still stop her. How? We've decided we don't want you to sell the confectionery. <laughs> okay. I hope you guys have all the money that we need for Zina's surgery together. But mom, we can gather the money. People love Zina's cakes. And I'm sure if she teaches us the recipe, we can make more cakes together. <sighs> well, that's not a bad idea. But that still will not get us all the money that we need for Zina's surgery. At least, not so soon. We can contact some supermarkets, even nearby stores. Dad's old customers will come back. I will get them to test out some cakes, and I'm sure we'll be able to supply them again. My darling, you have beautiful ideas, but I hope you know that these supermarkets would have gotten new customers ever since your dad died. Of course, Mom. But that's not all. We want to put up Zina's baking videos on YouTube. We can create a channel and get people to subscribe, and I'm sure people will be fascinated to see a blind girl baking. And our channel will get monetized soon enough and then we'll have more than enough money for Zina's surgery. YouTube? Do you even know how that works? Of course, Mom. We were taught that in our extracurricular activities in school. I also learned how to create content. Okay. Okay. Fine. I won't put up the confectionery for sale anymore. I'll talk to the agents to stop. But that means we all have to work very hard. It's good that you guys are going to be on holiday very soon. Of course, Mom. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's okay. So we're not putting it up for sale. Okay, we'll tell the others. Okay. Hello. My name is Hadassah of Tiny Little Cakes, and these are my sisters, Kathy Okoye and Zina Okoye of Tiny Little, Little Cakes. So because we love you guys so much, we're going to share with you the magic making process. We used to bake all our pastries, cakes, and so on. So join us and don't forget to subscribe and like. So let's begin. <laughs> so I already added what, um, five cups of baking flour. Now we're going to add baking powder. baking video. Today we are going to make red velvet cake and my big sister told me that we are on a live video and I want to say thank you guys for 10,000 subscribers. Of dandelions, wishing on everyone that you... Oh, hello everyone, this is my big sister Hadaza and she can sing very well. <laughs> yes guys, 
I should open my own YouTube channel. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, guys, I will open my own YouTube channel so you can listen to me singing because I really love singing, guys. I really love singing. Hello, everyone. This is my mom. Mom, say hi. Hello, everybody. Please keep the others coming. Thank you. We love you. <laughs> so since we are here now, why don't we get down to business? So yeah, tell them about everything they'll need. Yes, you guys. So we're going to need a half bowl of baking flour. Now, hey guys, it's your girl Kathy, one of the tiny little cakes. Yes, I am the artist amongst the tiny little cakes. Today, we have a special surprise. Our new coconut bread. This bread sold over 200 loaves in four hours. This is our last batch and it's been sent out. Thank you all for your patronage. Keep the orders coming. We have many, many more surprises for you. Oh yes, Zina is very, very okay. And Hadisha will be joining us soon. But don't spoil the surprise, guys. Oh yes, thank you so much. Zina, words can't express how sorry I am. I let my childish emotions ruin our chance at having a perfect family that dad left behind. I put myself before you, despite seeing all that you are going through. And because of me, the surgery was delayed. It's okay. But at least, you were able to pay back the money. You and Kathy worked hard. Just promise me that you win the contest. I will. I will, Zina. Um, Kathy. I know you love drawing, and I also know that baking is not your thing. So continue with drawing. You can always keep up with baking as a side business, like I have decided as well. But for me, it's my main business. <laughs> um, it's okay. I'm just happy to see both of you at peace. I'm so elated. My big sisters. We have to go now. It's time. Mom? Yes, mommy. Mommy. Casey. <laughs> Adasa? Yes. Are you okay? Yes, mom. I can see now. Oh my god, baby! <laughs>
Mom, the winners haven't been announced yet. Hmm. There won't be any announcements. Because there was no contest in the first place. I traced the organization after you made the transfer. And I realized that they were not in existence. You were scammed, my dear. Oh my God. I feel I didn't do a good job. Your dad left you girls in my hands to take care of. But somehow, I feel I made you people doubt my love for you. You love me. But you never really cared how Kathy and I felt. When was the last time you asked us if we were fine or if we needed anything? All you cared about was how Zina was doing and how Zina felt. Letting our children be the best that they can be with their skills and abilities is one of the many attributes that we should imbibe as parents. It's okay to be there with them to cushion the blow, to guard them in making decisions that may affect their future. But their limitations should never be all for questioning because that limitation can sometimes be the push that they need to attain greater heights. And that's it from the Okoyes for the lived happily ever after. And in case you don't know it yet, it is an Utena Umbunabo production. We we'll see you when we we'll see you. Peace, love, and bye bye. I know what they're thinking now. I can read the minds, I perceive the hate. They don't like me now Think it's all my fault Cause I'm always to blame